Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you 24 August. Looks like a slow Monday in front of us. Uh, risk on mildly. Equities drifted higher up to 34, 04 and a half, trading around 01 and a half now. Uh, Trump had his little press conference about plasma treatments. It's pretty, you know, it's kind of positive news, um, I guess. We've just been dicking around, right? Uh, you know, we opened, traded 01 and a half, 01 and a quarter, down to 94, up to 04 and a half. Now we're just sitting here, waiting for the next shoe to drop. Nothing to do in ES right now. Euro dollar printed up to 06. Uh, with the risk on, not too much to do here either. Now, I mean we. We printed that 55 low we talked about on Friday. That's important now. We saw some interesting price action down there on Friday. We noted that on Twitter. Um, important on the downside through 55 now. Cable looks a little more offered. Could be a million reasons why it's offered. Uh, you know, could be the clown clown car that's driving around uh, driving around the UK with all the politicians in it could be the economy could be the confusion could be COVID could be the city of London which is you know still sort of half shut um, who knows keep in mind the city of London as the city of London goes if they can't get that thing back to at least 60, 70, 80 percent, um, UK is fucked. So, you know, look around on your commuter trains, look around at your offices. Um, this is important for the UK, more important than, say, New York is for, for America. London is uh, the value creator of the UK, period. Dollar Swiss remains like weirdly bid. Um, I guess as gold is falling, a little bit of a squeeze, but nothing to do here either. Dollar Yen, a little bit more offered, having a hard time going up, which is why a lot of the cross yen are suffering. You see Euro Yen gets smacked uh, on Friday with his PMIs. Sterling Yen looks quite, quite sick. I wonder if we're going to see some follow, follow through on this through 138 and a quarter. We'll have to see on that. Dollars R is heading right into this sort of 1690, 17 the figure buy area for us tactically. We'll be getting long there today. Um, obviously, you want to keep your eye on stocks. If stocks were 3430, uh, you want to lay off that trade. Euro Aussie, 165.50, technically a very good, good spot there. Gold bounced off those lows, 1916. This is the futures on gold. This isn't cash gold. Um, so now right back in the middle. We're just using this as a bellwether, right? We're not really trading much gold these days. Um, but we're using it as a bellwether. As gold goes down, that's dollar higher. As gold goes up, that's dollar lower, just as a generality. Look at Bitcoin. Weekend market took us down to 11.4. These are the futures, so it won't it won't uh, reflect that. Um, but now we're back at 11.6. Just some funny business over the weekend. This looks like it's going to probe further to the downside. Uh, we'll try and pick some up on the cheap. We're actually going to wait this week for sort of 10.5 uh, to add to our Bitcoin. Uh, again, size this properly. This is a stock. This is not a currency. Uh, don't leverage your Bitcoin. There's a hysterical nature to it and unpredictability to it that makes it kind of difficult to get a real beat on the short term price action. Uh, but longer term, we love owning Bitcoin. BTPs turned on. Uh, Friday, core short BTPs, 
been a real boring, boring trade, I gotta say. Uh, but we're still core short BTPs. Looks like it's turned, so we're happy about that. But we'll see if we get any fall through today. Um, below 147.50 is, is uh, slightly interesting, just sort of technically speaking. Tesla, we have our 2,000 sell entries. Nothing was done, obviously, on Friday. Um, but you're seeing these sort of turn bars up here. Kind of wonder if this is going to happen today. But, you know, stocks and technical analysis, and they're not really... Uh, technical analysis is not really super robust when it comes to stocks. It's definitely more flow and information driven um, than it is candlesticks. Anyway, <clears throat> second video of the day, I kind of summed it up in a sense that we're looking at a couple of these things. Sterling downside, I guess, if you're going to tactically trade anything is, 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 the, is your number today. Uh, but we're going to keep it quiet. It looks like it's going to be a very, very quiet Monday. Uh, we'll come back, check things out for the New York Open. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.